Have you ever wondered what makes aircraft fuel unique and not suitable for cars? After all, why can't you use jet fuel in your vehicle to give it incredible power? What is the difference? Let's explore. Fuel is made up of long strings of hydrocarbon atoms and sorted into different types through a distillation column. The longer, heavier strings fall to the bottom and the lighter atom chains float to the top. This is a very basic summary. Going from light to heavy, some of the most common types of hydrocarbons are natural gas, gasoline or petrol, followed by kerosene, then diesel, lubricating oil, and then residual oils on the very bottom. Gasoline has 7 to 11 atoms in a chain. Jet fuel is a little heavier at around 12 to 15 atoms long. It's closer to kerosene than gasoline. Technically, the fuel is close enough that it can supplement a truck's fuel supply. In fact, back in 2012, Toyota used jet fuel to power one of its pickup trucks as a publicity stunt. There are two types of jet fuel, Jet A and Jet B. The main difference between the two is the freezing point of the fuel, with Jet A freezing at minus 47 degrees Celsius, while Jet B having a much lower point at minus 72 degrees Celsius. Thus, Jet B is useful for planes in icy regions. Interestingly, it's also the fuel of choice for the US Air Force. Having a higher flashpoint, point of catching fire, is also an added advantage of using a kerosene base for the fuel. Combined with a lower freezing point, this gives aircraft a much safer operating range. Some fuel providers include some additives like anti-static chemicals, fluids to prevent corrosion of the tanks, de-icing agents to lower the point even more, and even some chemicals with antibacterial properties. ASTM International, the American Society for Testing and Materials, regulates aviation fuel. Any aircraft landing at any airport worldwide can get access to the same quality of fuel. Fuel for ships differs greatly from what powers aircraft. Boats typically use a derivative of diesel to power themselves on long journeys. Normally, ships require so much fuel that it ends up being incredibly expensive even to consider aircraft fuel instead. As a very combustible petroleum product, jet fuel can be used in a marine fuel blend and so we would not be surprised this practice may be occurring," said Tim Wilson, Principal Specialist for Fuels, Lubes and Emissions at Lloyd's Register to Bloomberg. But these are not standard times, and with less than 50% of all aircraft flying today, there's a massive abundance of aircraft fuel available. Hence, we've now seen a trend of aircraft fuel moving to maritime operations. Only in a situation where the economy is in complete tatters do we see usually more expensive components heading straight into VLSFO or very low sulfur fuel oil," said Eugene Lindell, a senior analyst at consultant JBC Energy GmbH to World Oil. With a price of a barrel of jet fuel at around 50% of its 2019 value, it looks like this practice may last some time. Did you know about the differences in the various types of fuel? Let us know in the comment section. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.